Hey, what's going on YouTube? Chuckles again with another YouTube video for you. Um, today, the video is going to be a top five on my favorite moments in gaming. So why I chose this one is I had a subscriber private message me and said, hey, I've watched your other top fives. Um, I really enjoyed them, but would you kindly do one on your top five favorite moments? So that's what I'm going to do. So without further ado, here is my top five favorite moments in gaming. Enjoy. Kicking off the countdown and coming in at number 5 is the fight with Psycho Mantis. Playing through the original Metal Gear Solid for the first time, I can remember thinking that Solid Snake was such a badass and no one could touch him. Then I walk into a room and see Meryl lying on the floor and hear Psycho Mantis' voice for the first time as he breaks his stealth. I spent hours every day for like the next week trying to beat him with no avail, having to finally resort to, to going online to read the strategy. Removing your memory card and switching the controller to port 2 so he couldn't read your moves was not only innovative for the time, but will stick in my memory for a lifetime. Next up and coming in at number 4 is blowing up Megaton in Fallout 3. I tried to be as good as possible in my first playthrough of Fallout 3, always taking the high road to do the right thing. My second playthrough, however, the residents of the Capital Wasteland were not nearly as lucky. When the option popped up to destroy the very city that gives home to most of the post-apocalyptic population, I couldn't resist. I will never forget how wonderful it was to watch Megaton blow up in both day and in the night time. So happy I played through Fallout 3 again just to appreciate it. Rocking the number 3 spot is the death of Eris. Final Fantasy VII does many things right throughout the story. It makes you happy, sad, confused, and it's a very emotional ride throughout. One of the main things for me playing through it is how well it developed the characters within the story. You got to see them in good times and in bad, got to grow up with them, and immerse yourself in the game itself. Then your whole world gets flipped upside down when Sephiroth descends from the top of the cave and stabs Eris through the back with his massive sword. I remember crying for the first time due to a video game as if my dog just died, and for that I thank Squaresoft, which is now Square Enix. Coming in at number two is the Scarecrow hallucinations. Nothing could have prepared me for the encounters with the Scarecrow in Arkham Asylum. In a game that focuses so hard on such an amazing combat system, I was not ready for such a twist and mind-blowing experience that was handed to me after walking down the corridor to meet the Scarecrow. Seeing Bruce's mother and father in body bags while their lifeless bodies talked to you as if everything was your fault made me want to call up friends at 2 a.m. and just to say, Holy crap, man, have you gotten to Scarecrow yet? Dude and I'll never forget it. Finishing off the countdown and coming in, in at number one, my personal favorite moment in gaming was the Would You Kindly in Bioshock. As linear as Bioshock is, the perception of free will was always apparent throughout the entire game. At its core, Rapture is a pretty memorable place all in itself. The underwater utopia is not only stunning, but full of surprises. From big daddies, little sisters, and crazies around every corner, all the way up to my personal favorite plot twist and all of the gaming glory that I've had, finding out that who you thought was an ally is nothing short of a psychotic monster who has been controlling you from the very moment you arrived at Rapture. You were but a mere pawn in a large-scale game of chess was not only mind-blowing, but sheer brilliance that I will never forget. Mind blown. So there you have it, guys. That was my top five favorite moments in gaming. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, what do you think? Did you like the list? Do you agree with the list? Honorable mentions, what? If you have any suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. I want to know what your guys' top five favorite moments are. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, would you kindly please leave me a like? It really does help the channel grow. Hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.